Uh, Jim, we have a question, of course, coming from this guy called Leslie Windham. He wants to know, what are your thoughts on commodities for 2012-13? Metals, softs, agri and energy. Can you see during uh, that year a severe currency fluctuation between the major trading nations that could hurt the commodities and energy market? Well, if we have major currency fluctuations, that's going to hurt everything. And, and I do expect more currency turmoil somewhere along the line. You can be watching CNBC and they're going to be talking about all the currency turmoil and it's making all markets go down. But but you should buy commodities when that happens because they're debasing currencies everywhere, as we discussed before. There's, there's little question that everybody's printing money, Christine, and that's all they know to Would do. Would you buy the soft or the, or the hard? I'd rather buy agriculture than anything. Agricultural prices are still very depressed on a historic basis. We're running out of everything. The average age of farmers in America is 58 years old. I mean, we're running out of farmers around the world. You should become a farmer. That's what you should do. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should change tack. Maybe. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got so many questions here. Uh, I'm just trying to, uh, for, 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 uh, for Jim. Um, yeah, uh, corn, soft commodities. We've got corn, soybean, wheat stocks, Jim. Um, I know, I know uh, you know, you, I used to talk to Mark Farber, and used to like to buy agricultural land in Argentina and stuff. Uh, what's your view of the softs? Well, I'm keen on, on agriculture. Uh, the one question that, that Christine gave me, uh, there is some controversy right now about the, the U.S. government's reporting of, of agricultural uh, inventories, inventory stocks, uh, and many people are skeptical of, of the reports because the government's trying to manipulate the prices according to the, according to the skeptics. I, for one, don't pay too much attention to government numbers because I've learned, Ross, over the years, if you listen to governments, you're not going to make a lot of money. Governments lie, governments distort, governments make mistakes. That's not a good source of information. You're better off watching CNBC than watching the government if you want to get, if you want to make money. Jim, we've had some specific questions about silver. Uh, can you just talk about the prospects of silver, especially in relationship to maybe gold and copper? Brian, I'd rather own silver than gold if I had to buy one of the one today. Uh, silver is certainly historically much cheaper than gold. Uh, silver has industrial uses, and with all the money printing, some industrial countries are going to be doing better. So, of the two, I'd rather buy silver than gold. I'm not buying either at the moment, but if if it came to it, I would buy I would buy silver.